With substitution, we are able to solve a system of two equations, which means we are finding the point where these two lines would cross on the graph. Substitution is an algebra trick that allows us to do that without making a graph. In order for substitution to work, we have to isolate one of the variables in one of the equations. And this time we're lucky. In equation 2, we have y equals x plus 1. The y is already isolated. We know y is equal to this. The logic of substitution is that if y is equal to this in one equation, the y in the other equation is also equal to this. So we can rewrite the first equation, x plus y equals 14, except instead of the y, we leave a space, and we put this, x plus 1, into that space. Now we simplify. We don't have an equation with only x's, and we can solve that. x plus x is 2x. Now let's move the 1 to the other side. 14 minus 1 is 13. If we divide both sides by 2, we have isolated our x, and we see x is equal to 13 halves, or x is equal to 6.5. How do we find the y? We take the x that we found and we plug it into either of the first equations. I'm going to use equation 1 again, x plus y equals 14, and I'm going to substitute 6.5 into the x position. 6.5 plus y equals 14. Isolating the y, means moving the 6.5 to the other side where it becomes negative, and 14 minus 6.5 is equal to 7.5. We're finished. We have found the point where these two lines cross, which is going to be 6.5, 7.5. This is substitution. In this example, we're given two equations and neither of them already has one of the letters isolated. So we have to do some algebra to isolate one of the letters in one of the equations before we can do the substitution. I'm going to work with equation 2 and I'm going to isolate the y again. 